We're dating. Are you kind of a, a serial dater in general, would you say? I mean, if you look back over your... I have had a hard time keep staying in long-term relationships. I've tried, but I like... You, so you, you, you want to? You feel like it's, it's I, not a... Yeah, I love... I love the idea of being in like a long-term committed relationship. Uh, to have, like have that one person out there who has your back, who knows you really well, you know them. Yeah. Like the you know the love, the support, the comfort, the familiarity. That all seems amazing. Yeah. But part of it is my job for the last 20 years has involved spending about half of each year yeah. traveling. Yeah. And I have to say, for a while, it was a really good way of accommodating intimacy issues you know i'd start to get close to someone freak out run away go on tour yeah and and it's sort of an unimpeachable excuse like yes yeah. it's not like you know you don't have to, it's like the, the, the musical equivalent of like joining the french foreign legion yeah for sure and uh it's it's valiant and uh but now i realize you know i don't necessarily want to spend my entire adult life mm -hmm. being the traveling musician who casually dates people mm -hmm. and never has a, a real relationship. That's yeah. just, that's just depressing. So. Doesn't sound that bad, but um, it, I'll take your word for it. it. <laughs> well, it, it wouldn't be bad if it was alternated with some serious relationships. Yeah. But if all it is is like light, quick yeah. relationships yeah. that never really go anywhere, you know, to well, a lot sounds, of people, that sounds, like, that yeah, sounds yeah. really good. I mean, not not to me, but I'm just thinking is, to is the, like, the world at large. Like, if um, all it is is like fun, spontaneous, casual sex with beautiful <laughs> women in different parts of the world, I mean, what's the benefit in that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're going to have to be very specific about the downside. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, the downside is that you never get that experience of like waking up next to the same person every day. Yeah. I'd have to say, as someone who, who has had that experience for mm -hmm. what's starting to seem like a long time now, I, I met Rose in 97. Wow. Yeah. You know, I don't know where the time went. That was 15 years ago. Just about, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's surprising. Hmm. Yeah, big part of my life.